Gasoline is certainly expensive nowadays, but there's no problem with supply. There appears to be more than enough gas to go around. That was not the case 34 years ago today, July 12, 1979. Today's flashback reviews the frayed tempers and the scams connected to the big gasoline shortage and the odd even rationing system in place at the time based on your car's license plate number, remember? Just a minute ago, you had your brother pumping gas, 10 gallons of gas into a car with an odd license plate, and this is an even day, and why do you have to do that? He's a regular customer. If he wasn't a regular customer, we would just check his tank, and if he was low, we'd help him out. But our regular customers have priority over everybody. I don't care who he is, or whether he be the governor, the senator, or anybody. They're our customers. We're getting harassed. People are abusing us and swearing at us, and I have one girl give me the, the old highball and all that stuff. I mean, it's ridiculous. Why should I have to put up with this stuff? That same day, reporter Gloria Murray was doing stories on products that were marketed as aids to increasing your gasoline mileage during the times of gasoline shortages. Problem was, a lot of those products were scams, things like the tungsten hydrocatalyst. The problem with these things is that they can cause serious damage to, to a vehicle, and in some cases, even... Uh, damage enough to have to have the entire engine replaced. Just look at it. It's nothing. There's nothing here. Cardboard, a couple of screens. What can it do? Anybody recognize what that was under the hood of the car, too? That was a carburetor. Any other cars today still have them besides mine? <laughs> This all happened actually during the second gasoline shortage of that decade. The first was between 1973 and 1974, if my memory serves me on that one. As for the reporters in those stories, Jack Cavanaugh currently is based in Sacramento, California, and Gloria Murray's in Washington, D.C. Both are independent consultants and producers today.